would say there's there's such a diversity in what I see. Um, I deal with the upper limb um, uh, with elective work, and that means from the tip of your fingers right way up to your shoulder, everything in between. So I, I, I do the whole of the upper limb. And for me, it's not just about operating. I try and get as many people as I can better without operating. And that means working as part of a very big team. So I, I, I love the interaction that I have with the physiotherapists, the nurses, the occupational therapists. It's, it really brings everyone in um, and, it, and it sort of just try and get, get to the heart of the problem. Um, it's uh, very satisfying to see someone who has had perhaps something that's been very long standing, something that may seem trivial to someone else, um, but is really affecting their quality of life, and just helping them get better, and just the satisfaction and fulfillment of seeing that patient uh, get better is just uh, very rewarding. There are several things that I could, I could say. It's, it's, it's uh, part of the reason why I wanted to go into orthopedics is because I like the challenge. And, and one of the, the most important things for me is to get into, get a, 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 good, a good feel of what the patient actually wants out of this consultation and how they want to get better. Um, it's part of my role to see what their needs are because sometimes they will come to me and say, my wrist hurts but what I really need to know is what is it stopping them from doing so that I can plan their treatment accordingly. Um, ordinarily I'd say I like going out to the cinema, planning trips, going traveling, however with, with our recent baby it all has, has changed so my spare time is uh, helping change nappies and helping feed the baby but hopefully that will change I'll get back to what I, what I used to like doing out and about but just with a, with a, a little person tagging along with us.